I don't think I could imagine my life without music. In fact, I don't even remember my life without music being very present in it. I think that I'm probably the luckiest person on earth to be able to do what I do right now. I walk in the concert hall, I face the orchestra. I see the eyes of my musicians and I see how we are all ready to conquer yet another time the highest peaks of what the greatest composers have left for us. And what I love about it is that you always have to start from the first downbeat and go to the very end of the piece and basically give everything that you have. Hello, my name is Rosa Milanov and I have the honor of being the next chief conductor of the Slovenian National Radio and TV Orchestra. We're here in the beautiful Tivoli Park in uh, Ljubljana and uh, from here I would like to tell you how excited I am to be in your beautiful city, in this amazing country uh, that I have come to love during my numerous visits in the last 14 years. The orchestra here in Slovenia is really one of the national treasures of this country. They perform at the highest standards. They pour all their heart into their performances and it's such an honor for me to be at their helm. During my tenure in the next few years here in Slovenia, we are looking to surprise you with many new ideas, explore repertoire that is classical yet not quite well known. We will break a little bit the concert format, we will make sure that there are events that we do before the concert, there are events that we do after the concert, so we have a better way of communicating our excitement with the music and also to make sure that that we also get your impression of what we do. We are here for all of you, whether you know everything about classical music or whether you are a person that wants to enter that world for the first time, we will make sure that we leave a door for you always open. Also, as a radio orchestra for us, it's very important to make sure that we also explore the resources of the radio and TV and we'll make sure that we use the talent of that institution and help us create something specifically designed for showcasing not only the orchestra but the big Slovenian cultural values. And in addition to that, one of our main interests is how can we help the next generation of Slovenians to be exposed to the world of music. And when I say music, I mean not only classical music, but music of just about any type. And music that I view as one of the most important vehicles to teach us not only hard work and persistence, but also to understand people and to relate better to people now at times when we seem to be stuck to your telephones and avoid one-on-one -on -one communication. And this is something very important that I think music could help us uh, achieving as a goal. You can't cheat on this. You just could be prepared. You could practice all your life. And, it, and it's not easier, but when you are up there at the very top and when you are there with all your friends, with all your musicians that have become your musical family, it's a feeling that I don't think I could describe it any other words other than being as close as you could be to some sort of a godly creature. That's the most amazing thing about music, that you climb those peaks together with your musicians and uh, you do it to please the audience and we musicians we feed on applause and this is something that 
we always do for the people if they are there to listen for us.